Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of RM Cookbook. Hope you all been well. Today I'm going to share with you a very delicious recipe of chili con carne. Chili con carne, it means uh, chili with meat. Carne is the Spanish word for meat. Obviously, so you can understand, it's a recipe originates from uh, Spain. So it's quite famous all over Europe and also amongst Mexico and, um, and parts of US. So let me just show you what you need to prepare this recipe. And along the way, I will tell you uh, um, some interesting history about this food so for this recipe I'm using 529 grams of minced meat which is basically a mixture of lamb and beef and I'm using half a um, bell pepper and one large onion chopped and three tomatoes for this recipe so here I'm just going to first uh, fry off the onion uh, till they're slightly translucent and add rest of the stuff slowly slowly uh, to the other recipe here you'll be seeing me using uh, spices based on my preferences so I like the taste to be like this but there are so many different ways you can use and so many variation spices you can add so we will discuss it along the way and you will see here I just added the uh, half of the bell pepper chopped bell pepper to the uh, onion which has been fried and to that I'm adding uh, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder um, and I'll be adding around a quarter teaspoon of uh, cumin powder and a half a teaspoon of coriander powder these are the basic um, spices which I'll be adding and to make it a bit more flavorful I'll be adding around a quarter teaspoon of curry powder a pinch of garam masala uh, which you can get from any supermarket is mixture of multiple spices and half a teaspoon of paprika to give it this vibrant red color and flavor salt and chili to your taste again it's a chili con carne dish so it's slightly spicy i'm adding around um, half a teaspoon of chili flakes and a teaspoon of salt for my need so that's basically the spices gone. Now, the three tomatoes which uh, we showed previously are essentially food processed till they're actually runny paste consistency and uh, mix it to the mixture and also add a teaspoon of tomato puree. Uh, that gives a very nice and uh, um, vibrant color and also very nice taste to it. Add a bit of water to rehydrate the mixture because as it, as it gets cooked, it gets quite dry. So instead of adding more oil to it, just add a little bit of water so that it gets rehydrated and to that we just add our mincemeat and cook it till the pinkish color disappears completely and after that we'll be adding around a uh, cup of our pre-cooked red kidney beans these were dried kidney beans bought from the shop we did not use the canned kidney beans uh, for a very good reason because it's not good for you if you can avoid the canned beans just use the dried beans then pressure cook it till they're cooked and this is how you can add that rehydrated pre-cooked kidney beans into our mixture add a bit of water cover it up for you know around 10 minutes in medium heat whole thing is very nicely cooked and done and this is how easily you can make this chili con carne i have made it um, based on my taste and my liking so i hope you can also experiment with the uh, uh, recipe vary it based on your liking vary the uh, spice mixture so a bit of a history it were it uh, i mean when i actually looked uh, at the background of this recipe it was quite well known since 1850 in spain uh, as we were saying and then it spread amongst the uh, you know spanish uh, uh, conquest of various part of the world and they took their food with them uh, so you can have this recipe with uh, rice white rice or jacket potato over here the way we have shown you um, and a bit of uh, uh, grated cheese in my case I'm actually using uh, cheddar and Leicester grated cheese uh, you can vary also the cheese itself based on your taste and your uh, like and um, this is how easily uh, you can prepare uh, this recipe Hope you like the recipe that we present presented in this uh, episode and if you like please give us like and share it with your friends and family give us your comments on the comment section and uh, till the next time take care